This Antiquities Authority decided to establish a conservation lab dedicated solely to the conservation and preservation of the scrolls, first of all, because of their importance, and secondly, because they are 2,000 years old. In the early 90s, renowned archaeologist Sarah ben Arier realized that the establishment of a laboratory solely dedicated to the conservation and preservation of the Dead Sea Scrolls is a necessity. In order to truly understand why the Israel Antiquities Authority decided to establish a conservation lab dedicated to the Dead Sea Scrolls, we'll have to go back to 1947, the year in which a young Bedouin shepherd accidentally found an old leather scroll in a cave in the Judean desert, a finding that led to a series of sensational discoveries. We're talking about over 900 manuscripts comprising of thousands and thousands of fragments. Now, what did the scholars do? Once the material was brought to the Rockefeller Museum, they spread them on long trestle tables. Because she had some as a thermometer, a scan, she measured the temperature. And every two pieces that matched, they taped with adhesive uh, tape. And every so many pieces, fragments that they thought belonged to the same plate, they put again in between two glass plates and taped it again. Now the pressure of the glass and the residues of the tape eventually caused the disintegration or started causing the disintegration of the scrolls. Amir Jory, the director of the Israel Antiquities Authority at the time, appointed Sarah ben Arieh with the task of finding a solution that will preserve the scrolls for eternity. After a long period of searching, Ben Arya approached Esther Boyd, an expert in parchment preservation, who gladly took up the challenge. Sarah Ben Arya went to me and said that she was in London, that she found a man who was working with the Megillot. And they said to her in London, why are you looking for this? There are you there, Esther Boyd. That's how she came to me. In the United States, there were no one who was in the United States. ועם העלייה הגדולה הזו הגיעו משמרות ממוזיאונים, מלנינגרד, מ- מ- ממוסקבה. The sacred scrolls are stored in one of the most secured locations within the Israel Antiquities Authority. This climate-controlled warehouse was established with the help and professional guidance of the Getty Institute for Conservation based in the United States. Temperature, humidity, and illumination are all carefully controlled in order to keep them as close as possible to the conditions that existed in the Judean desert caves for millennia. The same conditions are kept in the storeroom, in the lab, in the studio, everywhere that the scrolls go. The first thing that we require is that these conditions are maintained and we monitor their exposure. The conservator's main task was, and still is today, to separate the parchment and papyrus fragments from between the glass plates that have confined them for decades. Just before the separation process begins, the conservators will record the exact shape of the fragments and their position on the plate. Only when the fragments are fully documented, they will be separated from the glass plates. Many of them are still attached to each other with the same destructive adhesive tape. To decide how they will be separated, the fragments are examined under the microscope. The separation process must be extremely gentle. In most cases, the upper side of the fragment will be covered with Japanese tissue papers which will help support the fragment during the removal of the adhesive tape from its opposite side. <laughs> The next step is the completion of the removal of any remnants of the adhesive tape from the fragments. Here in the chemical hood, a Japanese tissue paper is placed on the back side of the fragments. On top of it, according to the type of the adhesive tape used, a mineral powder is spread and a special solution is sprinkled on which will completely absorb any adhesive residues within a few hours. And this is a very exciting moment because many a times when they take off the protective tissue, 
suddenly the writing comes back to life. חשוב לי להדגיש שכל החומר שאנחנו משתמשים זה כמה שאפשר הפיך. זאת אומרת שברגע שמישהו אחרינו ירצה להוריד את התמיכה שעשינו למשל, אז הוא יכול לעשות את זה בקלות. We have four conservators, full-time conservators, who work here, and this is their professional life. Their particular expertise in the preservation of the scrolls was acquired in the lab. Occasionally, the conservators are asked to work on plates that have been already treated in the past. I know that after 20 years, the plate that we see on the map is the same thing. We decided to check ourselves to make sure that we're not causing any further damage. We brought together a team of experts from all over the world. They came and sat here for a week with us uh, and went through the protocol to see that everything that we're doing is okay. Recently, the Israel Antiquities Authority launched in collaboration with Google a website presenting high-quality images of the fragments shot by a multi-spectral camera that can reveal details undetectable by any other method. The idea is to create with these images a monitoring system whereby we will check every so often if there is any change in the state of preservation of the schools. Thanks to the photography technology that was originally developed by NASA, today the general public as well as researchers worldwide can all enjoy the magnificent results. Once the images of the scrolls will be available online, we will need to expose them less for scholarly needs or for the public. The Conservation Lab of the Israel Antiquities Authority is fully aware of the damages that might be inflicted on the scrolls by any change in climate conditions. Any scroll fragment prepared for exhibition undergoes a meticulous preparation procedure. The fragment's edges are strengthened with Japanese tissue paper and sewn between two layers of neutral transparent fabric, which is stretched between two layers of cardboard. The needle does not even go near the parchment itself. At last, all the layers are sealed together in order to ensure their safe journey to local and international exhibitions. For over 20 years, these four conservators come into the lab every morning to continue working on this significant mission. They have been working here for 20 years. There's no one like them. Uh, their knowledge, their expertise is unparalleled. They continue to see themselves lucky, acknowledging that history granted them with the opportunity to take part in a unique and unparalleled endeavor. I feel very fortunate to come in every morning and to know that I'm helping to preserve these precious manuscripts 2,000 years old for at least 2,000 years more. We're talking about uh, world heritage, and it's part of our mission to bring this heritage and to share it with the world.